if you are a dotnet developer and using dependency injection in your application then this video is for you in dotnet 8 a major update has been added in dependency injection the major update is for example if you are having multiple classes and all these classes are implementing same interface and you want to use those classes as a repository or as a dependency in your controller then so far there was not a proper way to use them but in dotnet 8 there is something that has been added and in this video we will talk about what it is and there is one problem as well with this update so at the later part of this video i will talk about what that problem is and how can you fix that but for now let's quickly have a look how can we implement this situation in dependency injection in asp.net core web api application here i have created this very basic asp.net core web api application and over here you can see that this is my controller file in the controller i do not have anything major code this is just the plain employee controller and there are two very basic methods over here this is get employees and this is get temporary employees this is the basic routing other than this i have added one more class over here so if you will notice this is i employee repository and in the same file i have added three things first is this interface this is i employee repository then i'm having this employee repository and i'm also having this temporary employee repository these two classes are implementing this same interface right there is only one method over here and i have implemented it in both the classes the message from this employee repository is hello from employees and from this temp is hello from temp employees now the functionality that i want to achieve is that i want to use these two repositories in my employee controller and from the first method i want to get the message from this method and for the second action method i want to get this message from this temporary employee repository and i want to achieve everything by using the dependency injection let's understand how this is possible before talking more about this feature i would like to tell you that this feature is available in dotnet 8 and as of today the dotnet 8 is available in the preview version as the rc1 to work with the dependency injection we have to register our classes over here in this main method i can register my dependency over here by using this builder so builder dot services dot here you can notice if i'm typing this add and just press k you can notice there are multiple more methods that has been added these are add keyed scoped keyed singleton and keyed transient so basically now i want to register multiple classes over here with the same interface so i have to provide a key over here for the differentiation and based on that key i can figure out what implementation i need in my method so let's implement this one and here you can choose any one of them based on your need so in this demo i'm going to use this add key singleton like this now over here i have to provide first my interface so this is going to be i employee repository put the comma and then use this employee repository now the work is not done over here you have to provide the parenthesis and over here you have to provide a key so let's say it is employee right now i want to register another class as well that is implementing this same interface like this and here this time i will use this temp this one and here also let's use this temp employee like this now it is done we can simply use them in our controller so let's go back to the controller and over here let's say i want to get the message from the the employee class to use the dependency over here first let's try with the method injection so here i'm using this attribute which is from keyed service and over here in the bracket you have to provide the name of your key the name of my key is let's say it is employee like this and then after this attribute you have to use this i employee repository perfect and that's it right now i can simply use this employee repository name and over here let's use this employee repository dot get message perfect let's do the same thing for this second method also so i'm just going to copy this entire code paste it over here in this next method and this time the key is different because i want to use this temp employee over here like this and let's use the temp keyword over here also like this and here in this ok method let's use this temp employee repository dot get message let's just build this application to see if there is any kind of compiler error the build is successful there is no problem in that let's just run this application 
the application is running on this port and here you can notice we are getting two requests in this swagger so the first one is coming from this first action method and second one is coming from the temporary one let's click on this try it out and click on this execute button so here you can notice i'm getting the message hello from employees let's try on this second one also i'm clicking on this try it out click on this execute button and you can notice i'm getting the message from this temporary employees this is how you can use two or more classes that are implementing the same interface in your application now let's say that you want to use both of them in same method so let's say i'm just going to copy this one and let's paste it over here put a comma like this over here right and then let's say i just want to combine both the messages just for the demo in the second action method i'm using both of them together right let's just run this application and see what is the output ideally we must get the output from both of them so first we will get the message from the temporary one plus the message from the normal one let's run this application again click on this try it out button over here and you can notice we are getting the message from both of them so the first message is coming from the temporary and the second one is coming from the normal one there is a typo mistake over here it should be from not form like this perfect this concept of dependency injection is applicable in minimal apis in asp.net core mvc and signal r hubs now let's just try to implement this dependency by using the constructor so let's get a constructor over here like this and let's use this line over here perfect and i can simply just right click over here choose this quick action and create a new field over here like this now i can simply remove it from this particular place for now let's just comment this action method although there is no problem in that but just to make everything very simple let's just comment this thing and i'm using this employee repository over here let's use this this keyword as well see there is no any other change i am using this dependency in the constructor now let's just run this application and see what is the output so here we are and this time you can notice we are having only one single request if i will click on this try it out button click on this execute button then you will notice we are getting a message it is saying that unable to resolve this employee dependency this message is saying that it is unable to resolve this dependency that we are using this is a new feature that has been added in dotnet 8 and the dotnet 8 is in under preview although it is in rc1 but there is a problem in this code i have also raised a ticket on github repository for this same problem the problem is that this dependency is not working if we are using the constructor so here are all the details and here is the message from the team they are saying that it looks like there is a problem and they will just check it out and if you want to track this constructor dependency then you can have a look on this particular issue I will add the link of this issue in the description box as well. That is all in this video. Let me know your feedback in the comment section below. If you are trying this approach in your application, then please let me know if it is working in your constructor dependency or not. If it is not working, then you can track the ticket that I have mentioned in the description box below. I will really appreciate if you will like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.